Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to transfer your Hive OS installation from a USB stick to either an SSD or an M.2 NVMe drive, depending upon what motherboard you're using for your mining rig. Um, flash drives are great to get started with, but you will wear them out prematurely as Hive OS likes to do constant access to whatever drive it's installed into and flash drives do not have any endurance whatsoever. So you definitely want to move it over to either an SSD or an NVMe, depending upon which motherboard you have. So let's jump over to the screen. Okay, so since I already have this done on my systems, uh, another gentleman from the Misfit Mining Discord was kind enough to loan me their rig and it needs to be done. Now he's already installed an SSD and is booting off of a 32 gig flash drive. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to Hive Shell Start so we can drop down into the command prompt for the rig. And there we go. And the first command we're gonna do is fdisk-l, which is for list. And this will show us that apparently he has some sort of corruption on his flash drive. <laughs> because the first drive here, this SDA 120 gigabytes, that's the SSD he just added. The second one here, this 28.9 gigabyte, is actually a 32 gigabyte flash drive. So you definitely need to pay attention to the sizes because you're going to need those drive numbers here in a second. But at least now we know SDA in this instance is SSD and SDB. B right here, de, dash dev dash, actually backslash dev backslash SDB is his flash drive. So the next command we need to do is basically we want to copy this here first. Come on over here. I want to paste it into the browser. Don't hit enter yet. This is a very destructive command if you don't use it correctly. So let's go back to the information here. Transfer the image of flash drive using of STA. If is the device from which we will transfer our flash drive. So the if part of this command is the flash drive, which in this case is SDB also on this gentleman's computer and of this is a device where to transfer the SSD or an H hard drive. And the of is SDA again on this setup. So actually we're okay with just hitting enter here. And what it's doing right now, it's literally copying sector for sector from the flash drive over to the SSD. This should only take a few minutes at most because there's actually not that much data in Hive OS. Okay, so that's it. It literally, if we look at the screen here, took 50 seconds to copy about eight gigs of data from the flash drive to the new SSD. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna close out the shell in the box, close out this little screen here, that's perfectly fine, get rid of that. And now, before I actually shut down the rig, just look right here, disk model, USB disk 3.0, 31 point, it's actually 32 gig, whatever. 32 gig, A8, AT18, oh, wait a second, harder. It's showing both drives. So the first drive is a USB disk 3.0, 32 gigabyte, comma, and he put in an uh, ATA team 128 gigabyte SSD. It's not very descriptive, but it's there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shut down the rig. Now, once that's all done, I'm going to send this gentleman a text and ask him to remove the flash drive from the back of his rig and reboot it. And we should be just rebooted on this ATA team drive. So let me text him right now. And there we go. Now it disappeared. Now we are booted, it's only been up for about a minute, and we can see there's only the one drive now. So everything is running perfectly fine. It's starting up Team Red Miter right now, so we'll wait a few seconds just to make sure that everything's running, but there is no more flash drive. It's literally just running off of that um, SATA M.2 drive that he has installed. 
there we go. Team Red Miner is starting. Remember, it takes a few seconds for Team Red Miner to do its tuning. So 10 mega hash is not the end of the story yet. There we go. That's much better. Now we're running at full speed. So for two RX 580, eight gigabytes, uh, 61.56 mega hash, give or take a mega hash. That's about right. And his system is now upgraded to a full SATA drive and he'll have a lot longer stability because he doesn't have to worry about the flash drive randomly just going dead. So thanks for watching. Comments down below. Any other information I will have in the video description below. Come say hi at the Misfit Mining Discord. Link again will be down below and I will see you next video.